My name is Dan Bishop. I'm Head of Insurance Analytics for Hiscox UK. We do super affluent people who've got tens of millions, sometimes hundreds of millions of pounds worth of artwork. And actually, as an insurance company, insuring that artwork, we'd probably like to know where it is. Because what we have is what I call very spiky exposures. So we really like to understand if there are lots of our customers all living very close by. Because if there is a big event, a flood event, a windstorm event, a big fire event, that um, has a, obviously a big impact on our losses. That increases the capital, the money we have to hold and set aside to, to, to manage against that risk. The kernel of what we use for neuros data is, is, is what I call geocoding. So it's locating that property in the landscape as accurately as possible. That is the, 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 the fundamental starting point of everything we use for neuros data. So somebody who might live next to a river, they're probably riskier in terms of their flood experience. So we tend to charge those sort of people more money than people who didn't, you know, who live at the top of the hill, for example. The Ordnance Survey. Invest a significant amount of money on a continuous basis in improving the quality of your product. So I feel reassured that compared to other organisations who do similar sort of things, I feel there's a bigger investment and I feel there is um, an investment in quality. And if you want to do exciting things with information and, and some of the products that you guys underpin are very exciting products, um, the starting point is absolutely accuracy. The devil is in the detail. So uh, you, know, you really need to understand to be able to exploit as much as you can from that data. The use of data, it helps keep our expenses down and it also helps you know, utilise uh, the capital, the investment we have in insurance companies. We tend, we tend to use that more efficiently because of our own survey data and that we can reflect in the cost ultimately to the consumer as well. You really don't like ambiguity, do you? It's a great point, actually. Hiscox, we love paying claims and we love paying claims with a smile on our face. What we don't love is paying claims when we didn't know we were likely to have to pay claims. So unexplained exposures, uh, locations in a place we didn't think they were located. It's that type of ambiguity that, that, that Hiscox doesn't like. I think the products we use mostly are address base and UPRN, the unique property reference number. We do also use other products from the master map data set. And, and you know, sitting back, you know, we are insurers of high net worth, affluent and super affluent people. So these people tend to live on the best house on the street. Some of the master map data, certainly the building heights, building footprints, um, boundaries around um, you know, par the boundaries around, that, around parcels of land really help in terms of understanding those you know, those those big exposures. I like all the people you use as partners. So we use Verisk at the moment, but we've worked with Address Cloud and Europa, LexisNexis, Ambiental. I feel I'm talking to experts. I'm talking to human beings rather than talking to the help desk. Thank you.